guys and welcome back to my channel and finally another episode of when fashion meets interior design yours truly making here last time we covered high-end fashion and decor with hugo boss the boss brand collaboration with naomi campbell to be exact and the spring collection of hugo boss's bedding collection this time let's visit low in fashion and decor because this channel is based on combining both. H&M's Autumn and Winter 2024 Women's Limited Edition and Home Collections. Let's get started. know I love giving a little history of the company first then I will give you a breakdown of each collection and my home what I bought I will leave the timestamps below so you can just skip to whatever interests you the most Erling Pearson wanted to make great fashion available and affordable for everyone and after being inspired from a trip to New York he opened his first women's wear store in Vesteras I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Vesteras, Sweden in 1947. He named it Hennis, which is Swedish for hers. Soon in 1952, the first store in the capital of Stockholm, Sweden was open. To expand his retail stores, Pearson acquired the Stockholm-based retailer Moritz Vidforce in 1968. And that's when the name changed to Hennis and Moritz, or H&M for short, and started offering men's and children's clothing also. By 1969, there are a total of 42 stores. During this time, the international growth begins in Norway first, then Denmark, and the UK and Switzerland. The growth pace was incredible, with about five to six new stores opening every year. In 1973, the first underwear collection was introduced, leading to the famous annual underwear campaigns of the 1990s, featuring all the great supermodels of that time. You know, the big six, as they were called. Elle McPherson, Cindy Crawford, Christy Turlington, Claudia Schiffer, Linda Evangelista, and of course, Naomi Campbell. The 1980s and 90s saw the expansion of stores to the Netherlands and Germany. I actually remember the first time I shopped at an H&M in 1996 in Berlin, but the company did not cross the Atlantic until 2000 when it opened the, the first flagship store on Fifth Avenue in New York City. H&M was way before the times and started early already in 1998, its online shop. When you think that not everyone even had an email address then, the internet was basically very brand new. H&M has done many collaborations with top design houses, further bringing usually higher in price design to the masses. The first being Karl Lagerfeld in 2004. They have teamed up with fashion giants such as Stella McCartney, Roberto Cavalli, Versace, Balmain, and Victor and Wolf just to name a few. 2007, H&M reaches the Far East, opening its first stores in Shanghai and in Hong Kong. And finally, in 2009, H&M enters the world of home decor. H&M Home was born. H&M and other quick mass production and quick mass throwaway stores started getting backlash for their contributions to global waste and they took action. 2010, H&M launches its first collection made entirely out of sustainable materials and in 2013 founded not only the H&M Foundation, a nonprofit global foundation, but introduced the Garment Collecting Program in all its stores worldwide. Since then, thousands of tons of old textiles have been collected for reuse and recycling. In 2013, H&M enters the high fashion arena with the first Paris Fashion Week show and the limited edition collections are released now bi-annually. 
Lastly, in 2015, the H&M Foundation launches the Global Change Award to challenge innovations that can accelerate the shift from a linear to a circular fashion industry. Linear production to consumer to waste, circular production to consumer, back to production to new consumer. Continuing a circulation or creating so to say, a fashion circle of life. Now, since 2022, H&M Group gives the annual and the sustainability reports following their first corporate social responsibility reports that they started doing in 2002, marking the beginning of their sustainability reporting journey. It is so nice when a company listens, makes changes, and makes their progress transparent. The company has always stayed in the family uh, from CEO Erling Persons to his son, Stefan Persson, to the grandson, Carl Johan Persson, who is now chair of the company and the company and the stores are found all over the world. Okay, now to the details of the Women's Fall 2024 Limited Edition Collection. Full of rich tones, intriguing details, and design-focused silhouette. The collection is full of many special inspirations and quality materials. Leathers, knits, sparkly separates. Each piece within the assortment tells a unique story. The collection is inspired by eternal glamour and versatility of mid-century design, plus the deep and sophisticated hues of wood and retro interiors. Did you hear that? The reason why I do these fashion meets interior segments. Fashion and interior design have always been intertwined and influence each other. The collection also shows the lingering beauty of Hollywood cinema sirens and the cycle of styles across key fashion eras. Would you guys like to see what I bought and how I will style these pieces? Okay, let's get started with the outfit I have on. Okay guys, I absolutely loved this tweed bustier and you see i've put on the brown gloves with the cuffs the tortoise shell cuffs and the matching necklace this outfit also had some matching pants but uh the h m where i was they didn't have my size and actually i saw the pants on a mannequin there and the hem was not done so nicely plus they looked a little short and i wouldn't stood next to that mannequin and that mannequin was not taller than i was so I was, you know, I thought about ordering the pants online, but um, I think they would have been too short for me. And I knew I had these Marnie wide leg pants and I don't mind the mix and the match. Plus these pants have here, oh, I guess you can't see them, but it, when they're open, you see they have the exact same tortoiseshell or horn uh, buttons as the top, but I find this outfit so cute. And I just threw on my favorite snakeskin um, Paris, Texas brown boots. And I think the outfit is awesome. And it's nothing like when you have white pants that they're long enough. So I'm glad I didn't get the other pants, but I love this top. I can even imagine putting this top on over a white blouse, you know, if I don't want to be all naked here, but yeah. Okay guys, next outfit I bought was this cute gold tunic here. Actually, there were also a pair of shorts that I contemplated also buying because I was worried being a tall girl that the tunic little dress would be too short. But thank God I am mostly in my legs. I have a short body, so I feel like I feel safe enough but nothing's going to show in the back. So I decided just to go with the little cute dress. H&M uh, styled it with the cuffs that I just had on and some black boots, which I will show you pictures of in a minute. But while I had on the brown boots, 
I think it also goes well just with the necklace and the gloves again. And I can also imagine wearing this with just like a uh, pussy bow, large white shirt under it. If I don't want to, as the winter's coming, don't want to be so naked on the shoulders again, or just a nice cream turtleneck. And I also have a nice chocolate brown, very bulky turtleneck that I can imagine putting under it. If you know me, you know I cannot resist a full rock and roll chic look. So this little faux leather dress is basically the same cut as the um, gold one I just had on. And these thigh high boots are very similar to the ones I had on before, the ones with heels. Actually, I've got to tell you they are Saint Laurent or YSL. These are Paris, Texas. And uh, yeah, of course, again, if I want to make it a little bit more girly and feminine, I can put on a nice blouse underneath it, or H&M showed a little turtleneck under it, or just any kind of long arm sleeved t-shirt. And this is your rock and roll chic moment. And another look that I absolutely love is an all denim look. I guess it reminds me of my childhood in the 70s. And I am so glad in the last couple of years, this look has come back. So I picked up these uh, denim high-waisted long pants with the cuff. Now, you guys see with my long legs, they are a little bit too short, but I have enough of a cuff to let it out. And this is the top that went with it that I just absolutely a door it has padded shoulders so you know how they said it's a little bit of following all fashion eras so this is a little mixture of 70s and you got the uh extended over exaggerated padded shoulders from the 80s and styled them up with my little bling bling denim boots from paris texas you guys will see i always got a pair of paris texas boots on they're some of my it's one of my favorite uh boot companies so let me Know what you think? And another denim shirt I picked up was this one. I love the rawness of the denim, but still the femininity of being a pussy bow blouse. I always love a pussy bow blouse. And actually these jeans are true boyfriend jeans or in my situation, husband jeans that I kind of uh, uh, confiscated and stole from my husband that I wear all the time. And I styled them with these mustard yellow aquazura mules that I absolutely love in the summertime. They are so comfortable, the best vacation shoes. I can walk anywhere, anytime, the whole day long in them. And I love them because they always pick up the beautiful mustard color stitching in the denim. And you guys, I love a white blouse moment, especially just paired with jeans. Love these 
jeans from Balenciaga because of the sport stripe here with a little burgundy in it. Styled it up with my burgundy Balenciaga velvet combination with patent leather and velvet. You guys know dark red cherry, burgundy, they've been trend colors in fashion since spring and they're staying in for fall. So gotta love this moment. So I picked up this tuxedo blouse as H&M was calling it because mama can never have too many white blouses and I'm loving this combination. And you guys, I just wanted to show you this outfit really quick. This is another way I will style this tuxedo blouse just with a black suit. This happens to be a black suit from H&M's fall collection last year, not from the limited edition, but from their sustainability collection, where either 100% or parts of the material or garment are made of recycled materials. And this is a faux leather, little drawstring, wide pants, suit number here. And actually, all of the lining is 100% recycled polyester. What do you think? Now to what H&M Home presents for fall 2024. This season's key objects emphasize elegant ease with muted, calm hues, a variety in fabrics and pieces including vases, cushions, bedding, and tableware. Cozy elegance is at the center where soft grays meet irregular shapes, textiles, materials, and geometric patterns across all living spaces. If you love organic modern, the fall collection is entrenched in a clean, soft look that celebrates the essence of stylish, warm comfort. Let's look at some of the furniture. This chair seems to be one of the key pieces. Um, I did see it live in the store, but I like this chair better. The first is, in my opinion, not as timeless with its chrome base as this simpler one with its wood feet and softer organic form. I don't mind the different organic simple tables. But I was more interested in the decor items, so I headed off to the store. Key pieces for the fall 2024 are vases from white ceramic vases with geometric edges, also available in black. Two organic glass shaped vases. Candle holders are essential to bring the warmth indoors. Choose between ceramic and marble ones. Elevate your tableware with octagon shaped plates and serving platters, matching gray textile placemats and cloth napkins with a black edge. Neutrals dominate in the bedroom and bath, from gray, beige, and white to muted prints and classic stripes.
Now for my home haul. First thing, just look behind me. I picked up this linen slash viscosa dark muted bed linen. Has a very violet undertone and I love how it mixes very well with the striped sheets and pillows I bought from the Hugo Boss Home Collection. I also had to have ugh, this large vase here. There was also a version that resembled tortoise shell, but I love the dark violet and gray colors of this one. If you have been following me for a while, then it might remind you of something else. Yes, my Murano ashtray that inspired my color choices in my living room. And I absolutely love this organic vase and the marble candle holder. I will be going back with some of my dishes to see if the octagon plates can be mixed in with my collection. I just love to mix and layer my tableware settings, all different pieces. I am not such a fan of placemats. I prefer using chargers, but um, I was interested in the napkins with the black edges. Online, uh, there were only white ones, and in store, the color was more warm beige. They spoke of gray color, but don't know if that is coming later or that beige color is what they're calling gray. Anyway, those things may be some purchases in the future. Okay, you guys, I hope you enjoyed shopping with me and seeing again how fashion and interior decor are one in another. Everything is available still in store and online. Let me know down in the comments what you enjoyed or liked the most and what things you may be thinking about picking up. And I wish you happy shopping. And as always, yours truly, heart making. Bye. We got it, little osmosis thing. Hey, it follows me all over. Cool.